An emotional reunion. After years apart, Israeli border police officer Eliyahu Grinkovich was finally able to see his family, who had just escaped from the brutal war in Ukraine. When we knew that the war was about to start, I told my parents that they must come to Israel so that they wouldn't have problems. My mother didn't want to move here because she didn't believe the Russians would manage to reach Kiev. It took the family nearly a week to get out of Ukraine and reach Budapest, Hungary, from which they flew to Israel. The Jewish community in Kiev helped get them out. I spoke to them every day and called them every 20 minutes. When I would see on the news that there was a siren sounding in Kiev, then I would call. I didn't sleep for days. Truly, it was hard. Eliyahu spoke to the media line at the Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem during a special event held in solidarity with the Ukrainian people. The museum has launched a campaign for Ukraine and has so far delivered 19 tons of food. I went to the main synagogue of Kyiv. There's people, Jewish people, sleeping in the basement of the synagogue. The look on their face would break your heart. Ukrainian refugees, including families, orphans, even Holocaust survivors gathered here at the Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem for the launch of the new campaign. Uh, my husband was shot, I was shot, and um, it, it was very scary. I want to live in this country because I think it's a great country and I very like Israel. Shlomo Wilhelm, the chief Chabad rabbi of Zitomir and western Ukraine, helped bring roughly 100 children from the Alumim Jewish Orphanage in Zitomir to Israel when the Russian invasion began. I didn't want children to know what war is and have to hear sirens. We had given these kids our souls to try to make them happy. In just one siren, all that can be destroyed. The children are currently staying in a center just outside Jerusalem run by the Jewish National Fund. More than two million children have been displaced as a result of the war and witnessed violence. Like 11-year-old Yuda. We could hear shooting, but aside from that, it was okay. According to official figures, over 10,000 new immigrants have come to Israel since the beginning of the Russian invasion. Over two-thirds are Ukrainian refugees, while the rest come from Russia and Belarus. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.